Hey guys, it's me, Zara, and I'll be reading you Extra Yarn by Mac Barnett, illustrated by John Classen. Inside says, it gives you a little bit of an idea about the book, so I'm just going to read it. This looks like an, an ordinary box full of ordinary yarn, but it turns out it isn't. So it says, there's only one thing to say perfect. Let's start with the book. Extra yarn. On a cold afternoon in a cold little town where everywhere you looked was either the white of snow or the black of snoot suit from chimneys, Annabelle found a box filled with yarn of every color. So there's her beautiful neighborhood. Everything that's her house. So she went home and knit herself a sweater. And when Annabelle was done, she had some extra yarn. So she knit a sweater for Mars too. P.S. That's her dog. But there was still extra yarn. But when Annabelle and Mars went for a walk, Nate pointed and laughed and said, you two look ridiculous. You're just jealous, said Annabelle. No, I'm not, said Nate. So there's Nate being a big, big bully. A king bee. King of the bees, bad bees. But it turned out he was. He also lived on. And even after she'd made a sweater for Nate and his dog and for herself and for Mars, she still had extra yarn. It's totally not normal, totally not normal to make a um, sweater for a tree. At school, Annabelle's classmates could not stop, stop talking about her sweater. Quiet, shouted Mr. Norman. Quiet, everyone, Annabelle. Quiet, everyone. Annabelle, that sweater of yours is a terrible distraction. I cannot teach with everyone turning around to look at you. Then I'll knit one for everyone, Annabelle said. So they don't have, won't have to turn around. Easy as cake. Piece of cake. Impossible, said Mr. Norman. You can't. But it turned out she could. So all the boys and girls in the class, she knit a sweater. And even for him. And she did. Even for Mr. Norman. And when she was done, Annabelle still had extra yarn. So she knit sweaters for her mom and dad. And for Mr. Pel and for Mr. Pendleton and Mrs. Pendleton, and for Dr. Palmer, and for little Lewis. Oh my god, he's so short. She made, uh, this is like, so weird. She made sweaters for everyone except Mr. Crabtree, who never wore sweaters or even long pants, and who would stand in his shorts with the snow up, on his, up to his knees. No sweater for me. Thanks, said Mr. Ca Crabtree. So she made Mr. Crabtree a hat, and even then, Annabelle still had extra yarn. I'm shocked right now, so don't talk to me. She made sweaters for all the dogs and all the cats and for the other animals too. Soon people thought. Soon, <laughs> soon people thought. Soon Annabelle will, will run out of yarn. But it turned out she didn't. So Animal made sweaters for things that didn't even wear sweaters. I'm still shocked. And this is her old neighborhood. Things began to change in that little town. Sorry, it is not a neighborhood, a town. News spread out of this remarkable girl who never ran out of yarn and people came to visit from around the world to see all the sweaters and to shake Annabelle's hand. One day, an archduke, 
who had who was very fond of clothes, sailed across the sea and demanded to see Annabelle. His it gives you a hint that his name starts with A. Little little girl said the archduke. I would like to buy that miraculous box of yarn, and I am willing to offer you one million dollars. No, thank you," said Annabel, who was knitting a sweater for a pickup truck. I am very shocked. I'm so shocked. The archduke's mustache twitched. The archduke's mustache twitched. Two million," he said. Annabel shook her head. No thanks. Ten million," shouted the archduke. "Take it or leave it." "Leave it," said Annabel. "I won't sell the yarn," and she didn't. So I think the box of yarn is magical. So that night, the archduke hired three robbers to break into Annabel's house, and they stole the box and took it to the archduke, who set of off across the snow and sailed over the sea. The end. But no. Back to his castle. The archduke put. So it says A. So that means it's the archduke. The archduke put on his favorite songs and sat in his best chair. Then he took out of she and he took out the box and he lifted its lid and he looked inside. He said, "Oh, there's so much. There's going to be so much yarn in this box." I. Don't know it will be. No, it won't. It's totally empty. His mustache quivered. It shivered. It trembled. The archduke hurled the box out of the window and shouted, "Little girl, I curse you! I curse you with my family's curse! You will never be happy again." But so it's going here, going there. So it floated from here to. Oh, it's so small. There, and then she found it. it. Took a twig with it. It turned out she was the end. And she made a um, she made knitted a sweater for the tree and for the other animals. The end. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please be subscribe. Please be sure to subscribe, subscribe, comment, and share. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys.